<clears throat> All right, so on the workbench right now, we have the DC to DC converter right here, and over here is the inertia switch. Uh, first, I think I'm going to talk about the inertia switch. This is pretty quick. So all this does is when it's when it's pressed in, it's almost like a button. When it's pressed in, then it allows power to pass through, and the circuit is is closed. However, when imagine if you were to hit another car in a car accident, you can hear it unclick, and now the circuit is open. The button is not pressed in, and what this does is these wires will signal uh, to shut off the the motor, the motor inverter, so that there's no there's no high voltage running through your car, which is important if you get into an accident. You don't want you know you don't want your car to become a one big conductor of electricity uh, if there were a short caused by that accident. So that's an important safety thing. It's worth the forty dollars or whatever I paid for it. Um, and then here, there's the DC to DC converter. It's just a two chunks of aluminum, and this is what takes the uh, high voltage DC power from the battery pack and steps it down to the 14 volts that's needed to charge the 12 volt battery. Um, so in this big connector right here, this is the output. So that's where this this plug here just goes right in there, clicks in. And these red and black wires, red for positive, black for negative, of course, connect to your, your 12 volt battery and charge it. And then, let me take this out. And then these two terminal nuts here, that's where your, uh, your battery positive and battery negative, that's where they're terminated, the high, terminated the high voltage battery, the traction pack. The positive connection goes here and the negative right here, and that's how you wire it up. And, and then right here is the communications plug, so this doesn't carry any, any, any power really. Well, it carries a small amount for communications, of course, but it doesn't carry high voltage or anything. It's just a 12 volt signal. So this wire here, which is included, which I don't think I'll be using because if I'm remembering correctly it's uh, CAN bus enabled. So this is just a 12 volt enable so all this means is that when the power is flowing through this wire 12 volts and into here through this connector it tells the, the DC to DC converter to start converting power <laughs> from uh, the higher voltage DC to the 12 volt or 14 volts DC that's needed to charge the battery. So that's it's called an uh, enable, 12 volt enable signal. Uh, I'm, I have to check if it's CAN bus enabled or not. So I can confirm whether or not I'm going to be using this specific uh, plug here. But that's pretty much it for the DC to DC converter.